everybody and welcome to today's live about Professional Beauty London. My name is Amanda Pauly and I'm Deputy Editor and I'm joined here with Managing Director Mark Maloney. Um, and I've been told to sit up straight with my tummy in, which is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so as you know, Professional Beauty London is returning to London Excel on April 3rd and 4th. Um, and we're just here today to tell you a little bit about what you can expect and how you can register for the show. Um, so Mark, it'd be great if you could just say why it's so important for salon owners and therapists to attend Professional Beauty London this year. Well, firstly, it's the biggest event in the UK and one of the biggest in Europe. But, I mean, size isn't everything, as I keep saying, <laughs> but I think you can really touch, smell, see, feel, and look into your supplier's eyes and argue for a good rate and a good deal and good incentive. But I think it's it's good to connect, mm -hmm. and after and I love going online. But also, if I can really, I can see and compare, and pick pick up the product, or try the machine, try the bed, try the skincare, and feel if that's right for me and my clients. I think that's it's the one place that you can see and compare virtually all the main brands in the business. And, and a lot of new ones. Yeah, I think especially if you're a time poor salon or spa owner and there's some supplies you're interested in you want to learn more about, it's much easier to come to the show and see them all in one place than try and settle up loads of meetings for them to come to your business when rightly you're very busy. Um, but also I think another thing about the show is that it's a great place to learn and be educated from the best in the business. Um, we have a really stellar education lineup, which we'll tell you. How many before. stages do we have? So um, we have five live stages at the show, but you know, the show, as well as seeing products and brands and new launches and innovations, is the best place to stay up to date with what's new in the industry and learn top skills and techniques from the best in the business. Yeah, we've got an organic and natural stage. We've got a new launch pad where lots of the exhibitors and brands will be shouting what they're doing new. And we've got, of course, our spa conference, which is renowned worldwide. We, most of the speakers actually from outside the UK. Um, so fantastic speakers there. Our IMF and CP. Mm. Now that means international <laughs> manufacturers um, are coming to, to look for new brands, and look for distributors in the UK. And we also have a small section where if you're looking to private label, those, those companies on packaging, private label ingredients will be there um, as well. Yeah, and obviously we have quite a lot of new things for the show this year. Um, it'd be good if you could talk us through some of them, Mark. Well, we've sectioned the show. We've got six new sort of zones. Yeah. Skincare and spa, advanced treatments and equipment, retail and business, nails, lashes and tanning, um, and IOF and CP. And so, organic and natural. And organic and natural, <laughs> thank you. So we've zoned it so easier to find what you're really looking for. And we've also done something online got our own bespoke online hub so you'll be able to register and there's a new platform by the way if there's any issues that do DM the team but there's a new platform where you'll be able to see some of the brands before um, and also connect with them so if you want to book a meeting or even connect and speak to people in advance or after the event you can do that and you'll be able to scan the product on, on the day and then have that information ready for you so that's um, a novel way that we're doing things this year is to, to bring the online experience and enhance the real event. Yeah, and I think with the platform as well, it's going to be your one-stop shop for everything about the show. So it's a lot more simplified and easier to navigate and you can book competitions if you want to enter the nails and the makeup competitions at the show. You can book all of your seminar programs as well. And like Mark said, all the brands will have online showcases on there. So you can learn a little bit more about what they're bringing to the show, who's coming, what they're doing before you actually get there. So you can kind of make a bit of a shopping list of what you want to see. Yeah, plan your day. There's a lot to see in the day. You'll, the show, we had a great time in October. The show is almost the size it was before the pandemic. Not quite, but quite a bit bigger than October's event. So really getting back to normal now. Um, another new thing, we just teamed up with the Federation of Nail Technicians to do an, a nail advantage area. I'm quite pleased about that because that allows there to be having tabletop type displays where people can play with the product. And then in, in addition to that, a training zone where you can book training for one, two, or even three hours and sit and play. And if you don't want to book and, and pay for that, you can stand at the back and look and there'll be screens to, so you can actually, if you're not sure, 
oh, I'll, I'll come and look and have a look at that and then book training with suppliers and in industry trainers after the event. So that's a new area we're doing. Yeah. We've also got a similar sort of area for our spa zones. A lot of, lot of spa brands and small niche beauty brands can't afford the big sizes that the Fetimers and Elemis and, and Dermalogicas take. And we, we have a dedicated land where people can gain, discuss one-to-one -one with new and innovative, and as well as established brands there. So that's another new feature. Mm. And lots of opportunities to touch and play. Yes, <laughs> um, and obviously we have a stellar education programme at the show, so we've got five live stages, um, I'll just run through them, we've got business skills, management and operations, and also business skills, marketing and social media, so they're both sponsored by the NHBF, and obviously that's going to cover everything that you need to know about running a successful business, whether you're a salon, a spa, a mobile therapist, home-based therapist. Um, I mean, those are the most popular, aren't they? We've got yes. some really good marketeers coming, yes. retailing, social media, marketing, people from inside the industry who do it, salon owners, and also outside. Yeah, so I, I think that's our, they are amongst our most popular, aren't they? Yes, they are. And then we also have the Skin and Advanced Treatment Stage, which is sponsored by Galida Medica, and they're also sponsoring the Advanced Treatment Zone. Um, that one's a great one to learn about what's going on, latest treatments, innovations in aesthetics and beauty because you know the two industries are much more merging. Aesthetics is one of the most popular things that you can actually offer in your business now um, and you can learn from some of the best there. We also have nails and makeup um, and both of these stages are going to be run by the directors of our competitions. So Lan who's a leading MUA and also Marion Newman from the Federation of Nail Professionals. And then we also have organic and natural if that's an area that you're looking to expand in. Um, but the programmes for these are all going to go live at some point next week and you will be able to find out about more on the events platform and also book them there. Yeah, and, and I'd, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the brands who supported us. You know, it's not easy at this time um, and they've all, virtually all the brands are back and there's some new ones. So I'll get shot for missing out brands. But, um, but you know, there's people like KC, AES, Linton, LPG, really loyal to both 3D Life Work, Crystal Clear, and of course on the skincare side, we've got everybody from Elemis and, and Fetimer and Eve Taylor, Dermalogica, Gino, and thanks also for our internationals, Lemmy, Gariani, RKF, really upmarket um, um, uniforms from, from um, France, they and Linens from France, so we've got all sorts of people. So, um, and on the nail side, a growing, a growing list of brands, and of course, I'm very pleased to have our old favourite, favourite like Glitter Bells and Miley and, and Harmony amongst others. Yeah, definitely. It's a really good range of brands who are coming, so established and newcomers as well that are making way. Yeah, it's important to have, and there's yeah. a lot of new there. And that's, you know, I, I, so I know that's popular with lots of my salon owner friends. They want to see what's new, what's trending, and that's what the show's about, as well as, of course, our established favourites. Yeah, and Mark, finally, what's your favourite thing about the show? <laughs> I, I really don't get to meet salon owners enough and therapists and, and there are, there's a, still a lot of passionate people and I think that's an industry that with this pandemic has come out that people, the society values professional treatments and we try our best at PB to try and support the industry and when you meet salon owners and so many of them are excited about what they're doing mm -hmm. they've really helped their customers during the pandemic and, and i have to say that's my favorite bit about the show it's meeting meeting the, the industry and the profession yeah mine too the industry is really supportive of one another and i think as well sometimes it's nice to be in the room with people who are in a similar situation or boat as you and actually knowledge share and share business practices and actually a lot of time you'll come away with something and apply it in your business and it could be game changing i mean that's what we hear a lot about the show is the opportunity to meet people who have been there, done it, and done it successfully. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my favourite too. It's always nice to see. And a, and, a, and a good that's a good point because at the end of many of the seminars, we've you, know, you can learn from the speaker, but also a lot of people want to learn from each other. And we structure a little bit more time for questions and sharing and encouraging the audience to say, "Well, I've done it this way. How about this?" Mm -hmm. So I think, as you say, learning from each other is mm -hmm. is a good plus. And obviously, if you do have any other questions about the show, pop it in the comment box and we'll come back to you. But obviously, if you head to the Professional Beauty website, you can find out everything you need to know about the show and register. And just a reminder that it's April 3rd to 4th at Excel London. Um, well, thank you. No, thanks, Mark. See